What's the average time that pumps can last before a machine needs a cigarette? I would go about five to seven minutes. <laughs> How long can you go without a cigarette? An hour would be pushing it. About five to seven minutes. <laughs> about five to seven. I'm just dragging out today. What I really want is a cigarette that liquid kill me. One time when y'all were really little, when I was a smoker too, and we both are sick, and we go outside, we have the robes on, and we're both like fever. We have all of you kids just spreading germs oh. together, and Angie goes, oh, I'm gonna have to smoke because I don't wanna get not addicted. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I wanna smoke through. But isn't Luke pushing you? Oh, Luke very much wants me to quit and tells me all the time that's what he wants for his birthday, that's what he wants for Christmas. And I mean, it just flipping kills me, so thank you for bringing that up, so I feel like absolute dog shit. <laughs> Come here. Angie, this furniture's on its last leg. I know. Well, can you train the dog to not jump on the furniture? I've recommended no. taking I can't train my dogs not to pee inside. Does the big one pee in here? Yes. He pees everywhere. No, if you, not as if bad. If you went inside in that chair, you would smell pee. Like, does he hike his leg up? Yeah, he does outside. He's, no, he doesn't. He squats. he squats like a girl. Tubby squats like a girl. It has been a wolf and fake Pomeranian golden shower party for months on end. <laughs> oh, boy. Come here, stand up. OK. When it's separated like that, do you see how it's more yellow? I, I don't think that there is a cleaning service with enough vigor that can fix that. Are the dogs ruling the house? Yes. yes. Stop, no. Blaze, f***ing dogs. Blaze, ah, come get chicken. He just took off down the street. They don't eat stuff anymore, shoes and stuff anymore. Are you serious? You need to get like a dog, a, an obedient, something needs to happen. You know, I can't train anything. Anything around me, I enable it. You're kidding. Yeah. News flash. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know anybody who's way too under their dogs? I think they're missing something in life, and that's their child, you know? I have two two corgis. For love, those two babies are all I need, and whiskey gives me all the warmth so long. Scrubbles is exhausted. It's a big day. What's going on in T-Town? What we're doing in Tulsa is her sofa took 95,000 years, literally, to produce, and it finally made it. And then I want you to take final photos for the website. All right. My Tulsa project has been, like many projects, a labor of love. I was hired by Lauren a year ago. So I'm so excited to go up, put the finishing touches on this project, and then we're gonna let the clients come home and see it with us one final time before we completely turn the page on this fabulous project. Hey, guys. What's up? We got the A team today. Yeah. The Tulsa home is a historic home, but it really, really needed to be updated. So we brought in a lot of really fun pops of color and some furniture pieces that kind of felt a little modern, but also juxtaposing that with some vintage pieces. Lauren is hip. So I'm able to put in these modern light fixtures, really funky pattern rugs. And I love to paint studies all the bookshelves in unexpected color. Alexa! I need to get one of these for my office. Alexa, we're switching out this sofa, because her sofa finally made it. This one will go back to our lobby. This long-awaited sofa is an absolute statement piece. It has this awesome brass base, vintage gray velvet on it. I mean, we have waited months to get it there, so we are so excited for this sofa to really set the tone for the entire house. OK or no? Yeah, that's good. Oh, this is not. Hello! Hi! Your long nightmare of not having the right sofa is over. Oh, I love it! Hello! Thank you! Oh, I my God, it. it's amazing. Oh. The final 
coup de gras is in place and it completely changes the room. This is stunning. It was worth the wait. It was worth the wait. Totally worth the wait. What I loved about this sofa, it really has this cantilevered base where it kind of looks like it's floating on these brass legs. It was important that the back of this sofa be really a showstopper because it was going to be so predominant when you walked in. Let's just take a stroll down all the perfection that we did up here. Yes. And so are y'all loving? Oh, okay, yeah. so this bed, I've gotten so many compliments on it. They're like, where did you get it? We had to have Basically it made. We had to have it custom made, but it's perfect. And actually what's so good about it is, you know, I was able to make it taller and thicker than the one we wanted to Which buy. Which I love. This bed, when we went to order it, was discontinued out of stock. So I'm emailing her, here's another bed option. And she's like, I just still love that original one. And then I just thought, screw this. We're just gonna have the thing made. It's a little bit more expensive to do it that way, but we were able to customize it. And I love this floor so much. It's so beautiful. So you want to pay homage a little bit to the roots of the house. So we did all brushed brass hardware, marble, gorgeous diamond mosaic tile on the floor, and then larger tiles in the shower to make the shower feel bigger. This in that tub. So you use it we and love it. I'm so happy for you guys. I think. Like you hired us. Y'all were a relationship, but then y'all got engaged. And that was really special to be a part of. It's really sweet when you do these residential projects, things happen in your client's life, and you realize what you're doing, it sets the backdrop for these memories that they're about to have. This is it. So let's make this look incredible. Yeah. Elegant with it's a little funky twist. Yes, that's it. It's their personality. Just like you guys. Yeah. Elegant yet with a little funky twist. Yeah. That's perfect. Okay. <laughs>、Did you tan recently? Yeah, I got a spray tan. <laughs> do you、great. always look this dark when you do that? I changed.